Good morning and welcome to PAC TV. I'm Jacob. And I'm Colby, and today is Thursday, March 21st, the official first day of spring, and it also happens to be National Teenager Day. Morp is on April 12th, and it will be held in the small gym, and the cost is 15 bucks. The theme is dancing through the decades, so ladies start asking. And if you went to prom, your pictures have arrived, so please head down to the main office and pick them up. And just a reminder that if you're running for student government next year, your videos are due to Mr. Smith by the end of the day on Friday. That's tomorrow. And the How Chronicles are now available at the bookkeeper's office for only $9. Our very own students have produced 29 poems, 27 art pieces, and 9 short stories. So go and pick one up today. And speaking of art, tomorrow the art show will be on display up in the lecture hall from our very talented students here at Fremont. So go and check it out. And now it's time for some club news. Special announcement regarding their visit from local and successful author J. Scott Savage. He will be here next Tuesday, the 26th, during Flex. If you are interested, please go and see our awesome librarians and get a ticket because this is a ticketed event. Here's more about this event. And listening to the announcements lately, you know that J. Scott Savage is going to come down to our school and she's going to tell us how we get down there on the day that he comes. Good morning. Yeah, just you need to stop into the library and fill out a little uh, list to make sure that your name is on the list to be green slipped. And then if you'd like to come to the lunch activities where he will be signing books, selling books, and meeting with you. If you'd like to meet him personally, um, you will also put your name on a list and we'll get you a ticket on Monday. Thanks. Awesome. Make sure you guys get your name on that list and head down there if you're interested. Our TSA club had a state competition and had some winners. Uh, they were Tim Taylor, who took first in architecture design, and Bryson Silverwood, Wood and Jacob Williams also placed first in computer integrated design. Along with those winners, Dallin Baird took third in transportation design and second in CAD mechanical design. Congratulations to these winners and they get to go to nationals this summer in Washington DC. Students put next week's jobs fair in your calendar. It will be on Wednesday, March 26th in the Commons during both lunches. There will be over 23 businesses here that you can talk with regarding careers and employment. And if you're looking for a job, make sure you're checking the job board located in the CTE office. And if you're looking for volunteer work and possibly making your scholarship applications look really good, go ahead, go ahead to the North Ogden City Building tonight for a meeting regarding the Chalk It Up event happening this summer. And anyone interested in trying out for Dance Company, you can pick up an application in the Dance Studio or see Coach Thorpe if you have any questions. And now let's take it over to Sierra for Sports in the Locker Room. Hey! Thanks. Our baseball team is currently having a three-game series with Clearfield and unfortunately have lost their first two games. They have their final game against the Falcons on Friday at Clearfield. The softball team had a game against Clearfield on Tuesday and was able to get a 2-1 victory. Then yesterday they held on to another lead to get a victory over Vox Elder 4-3. They have a game today against Logan here at Fremont. Our soccer team came out with energy on Tuesday up at Weaver but unfortunately lost 2-0. They host Syracuse today at 3.30. The girls' golf team has a region match today at Remuda Golf Course. Good luck, ladies. The boys' lacrosse team had a game yesterday and defeated Bountiful, and they have a game today at 4 p.m. at Lee Olson. The girls' lacrosse team also had a victory on Tuesday against Box Elder, defeating the Bees 12-10. And now it's time for Come On, Man. All right, welcome back. It's Come On Man, brought to you by the Silver Dollar. And this is Amory, this is Hallie. Say hi. Hey. Okay, that was awkward. Um, also, it's brought to you by the Far West Rec Basketball League, but that's over, so it doesn't matter anymore. Come um, support other and sports. March Madness is coming up. Listen, so we got like a bracket thing. If you download the ESPN Tournament app, search up Come On Man, join the group. It's going to be great. Text us if you have questions. Yes. Anyways, let's run it. Let's get going. First up, we got some soccer players flopping, and he gets a wide open opportunity and misses. 
Oh gosh, that reminds me of the boys team. Yeah, did you see them play against Weaver the other day? Oh, that's cold. Ouch. That's cold. Come, Come on, on, man. man. And then next up we got Hockey, and he flops over the line too, and then it turns into a goal for it's the a other team. Fest this Look at that. Week. He tripped on the line. It's not that hard to cross the line. I can't Come skate on, though. Man. So. Come on, man. Next up we got free throws, and he airballs. So airball, like airball, airball. Come, Come on, on, man. Next up, <laughs> Rockets for the dunk and misses, and here we go. Fast break, steal, another steal, and, and dunk. dunk. Oh, just kidding. Anyways, um, yeah, that just did not work. Come, Come on, on man. man. And since March Madness is coming up, we got a college hype video for you. Just kidding. We don't. Psych, he can't dunk the ball. And that looks like me trying to dunk it in my backyard, dude. Yeah. March oh, Madness is here, man. And um, here we go. We got some rugby, some trainers on the field. And if I was this dude, I'd pee my pants because we got some big dudes coming at him. You'd be in the hospital by now. I know. I would, definitely. <laughs> I'm skinny, he's big, boom. Broken bones. But at least he didn't get hit, right? Uh, that was a close one, though, for sure. All right. Come, Come on, on, man. And speaking of rugby, we got girls rugby. And this girl was hungry. She's like the Suarez of girls. <laughs> oh, my God. She was, like, eating some arms in that pile up right there. <laughs> she got her cute. oranges during halftime. Yummy. Come, Come on, on ma'am. And next up, we got Tommy. Big Thomas Turner, and look at that. He got hit right in the Skittles. Attaboy, Attaboy Thomas. Thomas. And uh, we got a shirt for Thomas for being willing to be on Come On Man. And uh, thank you to Howie and Ambry for roasting the boys' soccer team. And, um, yeah, that's it. Back to whoever, wherever. Thanks. March Madness starts today, so get your brackets filled out ASAP. Back to you two over at the desk. And if you want to be a part of Pack TV auditions and tryouts for Pack TV, will be April 11th and 12th during your lunch. And you should take any of Smith's broadcasting, video production, and digital media classes. They're awesome, so go and talk to your counselor today. Also, if you're interested in early childhood education and earning your CDA, head to Mrs. Barrett's room, B15, B115, during Flex, to listen to a representative from CARE about child care. See Mrs. Barrett if you have any questions or to get requested. And speaking of education, if you are interested in education as a career, you should take a class about this. Uh, here's a video on more. Hey guys, I'm Mr. Story. I teach the Education 1010 course here at Fremont. Um, just to talk a little bit about it, it's a great opportunity for students um, interested in education, whether it be teaching or coaching or counseling. Um, even administration, to get out there and kind of see behind the scenes of what goes into education. Um, we've got two courses here. We've got one that emphasizes secondary uh, education and then one course that uh, emphasizes elementary education. So I got students, you know, for two periods, first and second quarter, that'll go to either Rocky Mountain or Walquist and, and teach with teachers and um, help the kids out there and then Third and fourth quarter, we've got a class that goes to the elementary schools. So this year, we're working with Far West and, and Plain City Elementary. And so the students are over there helping um, educate and inspire those, those little critters running all over the place. And so I'm CJ Smith, and I'm an intern at Far West Elementary in Miss Harden's kindergarten class. And it is so much fun. I love it so, so much. I get to have hands-on experience inside the classroom, doing science experiments with them, doing circle time, rotations. And it's been awesome for me because I've always known that I wanted to be a teacher. And so getting to go in there and really see that this is what I want to do is so great for me. And I know for sure that I want to be a teacher because I took Ed 1010. Hi, I'm Drew McCloy, and I'm in the uh, Education 1010 class. And um, right now I'm at uh, Plain City Elementary, and I'm working with Mrs. Bates. And um, I think my favorite part about it is that you get to learn about the kid and learn what's going on in their life and learn what they're about, and you get to interact with them every day and impact their lives. And it's, it's really cool because you get to see them smile and make them smile and learn their progress and... I think that's my favorite part, so yeah. A great opportunity to get involved with the college, um, to give back to the community and to help kids out. And, and uh, I think it makes you a better student as well, because I think the students that taking this course, they understand a little bit more about 
you know, what is education and why do teachers do the things they do and, and uh, they kind of understand, you know, the lesson planning and, and what goes in and is involved with that. So I think it's a great opportunity. I encourage everyone um, to, you know, try it out, take the course. And students, how well do you know your teachers? Did you know some of them have spouses that work here? And did you know Mr. Hancock's wife works here? And it happens to be her birthday, so happy birthday, Mrs. Hancock. And there will be many more questions like this at the Kahoot booth leading up to the Spring Pack Party on April 16th and 17th. Stay tuned for more teacher trivia. And also, leading up to spring break, next week we will have some candy bar giveaways during Pack TV, so stay tuned. And that's it for Pack TV. Remember to check out our videos and polls on Twitter at Pack TV 2019. Have a great day, Wolf. We'll